Okay, so I've set up a very simple product. Let's say I want to sell this someplace just to make this easy. I have a box and I have a sphere inside just sticking out a little bit. But I went and renamed the sphere bubble because we're going to see the word bubble and I'll show you how that applies. So I went in here, double clicked and renamed it bubble. And when I'm selling this object, I have a couple different options. The bubble can be this color or it can be a couple different colors. So I'm going to click on this bubble because I want to add in, I want it to be an option to have white and I want to add in an option to have like a, a blue. So I have these three different options here. You can buy my product with the bubble of these three different colors. So I'm going to add a hotspot and the hotspot says, hey, when you click on this object, so I'm using my gizmo to put it on the sphere because that is the object that you can change. You cannot change the box, but you can change the bubble. You can change the sphere. So I'm kind of putting it on the sphere object. And what do I want that to do? I want it to have a floating UI. And all this is, is when I have this object, it'll put a menu here to see um, what somebody wants to pick. So I'm going to hit floating UI and this is going to be called, I'm changing the material of it. So I'm going to, I need to switch the material. So I'm calling that material switcher. And from here, I want to do something with the material switcher. I want to set it up so that this is it right now. This is the UI. This is what people will see, this little menu here. It's just, it has nothing in it. So there's a UI elements where I can add in all I want to put. So if I click on the plus, it says, well, what do you want? And I want to be able to switch the material. So I'm going to click on material switcher and I have to select, well, what do I want to switch? It's not the box that's changing color. It's the bubble. So that's why I named it bubble. So I can clearly see it here. And then it sets up my three colors here. And by default, it has a swatch or I can do a drop down and a drop down has a menu and it can see the different colors or I kind of like the swatch. So that's what I'm going to pick and you can choose to ch see the name, which I'm going to see the name. I want to see it because I want people to buy the product that I have with the twilight option or I want people to buy with garden glory and that's how I'm going to list it in my sales, my sales unit. So I'm not done with this yet. Um, I want to add a little bit more information. I want to give this some kind of text and you can see there's other options here and I might want to give it just like a little bit of a subtitle that says um, bubble material. Spell that right. Yes. And it puts it underneath it, but I don't like it not underneath it. I want it to be at the top. So I typed in what I wanted to say and you can see you have different objects. You can, you can test with those out. I'm picking subtitle. I want the title to be on top. So I'm taking my text and I'm just dragging it up. It's kind of like another area of layers and then that moved the bubble material. So let's see how this works. I'm going to hit the preview button and I can move this around now with my mouse. And now if I click on the white, now I can see it with the white, the, the toilet material, the garden material, and I can move it around and see what it looks like. And I can also ch change it to Manhattan. And that's how you could use a material switcher for your products um, very easily by adding a hotspot and a material switcher.